All right. Now, hear me out. I know you've read the title. You're thinking, oh, what a fucking cockhead. All right. Let let me explain my point on why I think Stipe Miocic versus John Jones is more competitive than people think it will be. Now, am I picking Stipe Miocic? Probably not. I'm still probably going to go John Jones, but it's so much closer than people think. This is not going to be... John Jones versus Cyril Garn. I, I have my doubts that it's going to look like that. Like, I really do doubt that. Now, one thing going against Stipe Miocic here is he is a lot older. But people are, are talking about that Francis Nugano fight. Like, anything John Jones has is completely remotely the same. You know, like, John Jones doesn't have KO power. Like, he doesn't. Not in the hands, at least. Maybe at heavyweight, he's got a bit more power now that he's put on some muscle. But people are acting like fucking John Jones as Francis Nugano. Like, it's a completely different stylistic matchup here. Uh, now, why do I think this is going to be more competitive? Now, uh, firstly, a point I want to make. People act like John Jones is some, like, finishing machine because he finished Cyril Gunn. John Jones is arguably the GOAT. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that. He is one of the greatest fighters of all time. But I don't know, there's like a delusional part of the MMA fan base that act like he doesn't have competitive fights, he doesn't have close fights. Like, he arguably lost, should have probably lost to Dominic Reyes, you know? And like, people act like he's like indestructible. It's really weird. Like, he's had a lot of competitive fights. Still, not. let's not get into that. Why do I think Stipe Miocic can give him a competitive fight? What who? What type of fighters have, has John Jones struggled with? in his career. Fighters the same size as him, fighters with long reaches, and fighters with boxing heavy styles. Examples, Dominic Reyes, Alexander Gustafsson. I thought he clearly beat Gustafsson in that first fight, and then obviously he did finish Gustafsson, a a wash version of Gustafsson in the second fight. But you know, his most competitive fights have always been against boxing heavy fighters. You know, his boxing is... The weakest part of his game, which is ironic because Cl- uh, Clarissa Shields tried to said that heavyweight boxing is next for John Jones after MMA. He'd get smoked in boxing. Like, let's be real. Like, come on. He, he's never had, like, his hands are not. Like, his striking game is based on his long range. He kicks his elbows and using trips and takedowns to get it, you know, and elbowing people on the ground. Now, Stipe Miocic, I'd say... Even knowing he's heavyweight and, you know, light heavyweight's probably more skilled, I'd say he's a better boxer than Dominic Reyes. He's got good takedown defense. Now, things that do factor into John Jones' favor here is he's got a light heavyweight wrestling skill set that I'd say is clearly above the heavyweight wrestling skill set. Like, we've seen that against Cyril Garn. He literally just fucking trips him, chokes him out pretty easily. But I think... You know, Stipe Miocic, even in his older age, he is no Cyril Garn. He is competent on the ground. He can wrestle. He has takedown defense. He's not going to be like a sitting duck. He's he's not he's not Cyril Garn. He is a lot older, which does factor into helping John Jones. But another thing, we don't know what heavyweight John Jones's gas tank is going to look like. Like he 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 got Cyril Garn out of there in two minutes and four seconds. And also on the feet. You know, I didn't really like what I seen from John Jones in that fight against Cyril Garn on the feet. He looked a lot slower. Obviously, he's a heavyweight, but his his technique didn't look as good on the feet. He dominated Cyril Garn. Not even close, all right? Before I get people saying that. He, he destroyed Cyril Garn. It, it wasn't close at all. But if, if Stipe Miocic can sneak, keep this standing, I actually think this is very interesting because I don't think John Jones is going to one-punch KO Stipe Miocic. His chin, people are saying he's chinny. Did you see the fucking bombs he took from Francis Nugano before he went out? He got dropped once. Most people get dropped. You know, he got dropped once before he got KO'd. He got dropped twice in that fight. So most people are going out cold to the first time they get dropped by Francis Nugano. You know, Steven Miocic has a good chin. Maybe all the damage and accumulated damage is going to just have John Jones like one punch KO him. You know, I'm not doubting that's possible. It's heavyweight. But he's been out for a while. He's letting, He's recovered. But... We don't know. Like I say, we don't know what John Jones at heavyweight looks like after being extended, especially with, you know, Stephen Miocic. He mixes body shots like he did against DC, and you know, John Jones at heavyweight sort of got that. Uh, he's sort of got that Daniel Cormier build at heavyweight, like no joke. And I could see him mixing it up to the body, and you know, maybe slowing John Jones down. You know, in his heavyweight form, 
I can't imagine his cardio is going to be that as elite as when he was a 205er. You know, most most heavyweights don't have that crazy cardio. Stipe Miocic is one of the only ones who does. And I think I think if this fight gets extended, he can he can generally win this fight. I don't think this is clear cut as everyone's making it seem to be. Like John Jones, great one of the greatest of all time, but outside of that Cyril Garn fight, people are forgetting. Like he was having really competitive fights with Dominic Reyes, who's gone on to lose his next three fights, having a competitive fight with Thiago Santos. <clears throat> and then obviously he ran through Anthony Smith, but it was still he still went to a decision with Anthony Smith. Like he's not out finishing all these guys. Went to a decision with OSP. Like the only last time he got a proper finish besides Cyril Garm was against Daniel Cormier, and that's the one where he popped for a turnable uh Metabolot. Metabolut, which, you know, pretty much meant he was using that to hide that he was probably using steroids or something like that. So the fact that, you know, it only seems to be that he gets these, like, highlight reel finishes when he is either, you know, popping for something. Like, even against Gustafson, he got a finish on the ground, but he also had, you know, the whole controversy where they had to change where the event was because he had the picograms. So I don't know, it's it's very interesting when you factor that in, but I've just, I just have this weird feeling that Stepe Miocic is maybe not going to win, but he's going to make this look so much closer. Now, John Jones also has a granite chin. He's got one of the best chins in UFC history, in my opinion. Like, the most we've seen him get rocked was by Lyoto Machida. But, you know, that was years ago. You know, obviously, when you get older, your chin's not going to be as good. I don't think Stepe is just going to go in and knock him out cold. I'd say the best shot for Stipe to get a finish here is like an accumulative TKO. Maybe he's he's going to the body a lot, mixes it upstairs, maybe gets him out of there with a body shot. We haven't really seen many people mix it to the body to John Jones from memory. And Stipe is one of the only people who goes body head, body head. I don't know. This fight is so much more competitive than people are making it out to be. Maybe age is going to be a big factor here and we're going to see Stipe get just fucking ran through by John Jones. It's possible. I'm still probably going to go with John Jones. So, you know, everyone in the comments is probably going to go crazy over this and say, you know, Bo- Bones is the GOAT. How dare you pick against Bones, you know? Bones would beat fucking God himself, probably, you know? I don't know. There's, like, he he's probably going to go to a decision, if we're being honest. You know, most of John Jones' fights outside of that Garn fight, he's going to competitive decisions. Like, I think Stipe's got a real shot in this. 80-inch reach... You know, John Jones has an 84-inch reach, but he's always struggled against fighters who have, like, a longer reach because a lot of the guys he beat are light heavyweight, are middleweights. You know, Dominic Ray is 77-inch reach. John Jones arguably loses to him. And then you had uh, Gustafson, Alexander Gustafson, 79-inch reach, boxing heavy. Like, that boxing heavy style is always, always trouble for John Jones, it appears. But... Yeah, I don't know. This fight's going to be a lot more competitive than people are making it out to be. I don't think this is going to be the mismatch everyone thinks it is. Still, at the end of the day, I, I still think Pavlovich deserved the shot over Stipe Miocic. But, you know, this isn't as clear-cut as people are making it out to be. Now, this could age really bad, and maybe it will. Maybe John Jones is literally just going to go out there and fucking destroy him on the ground. You know, there is a difference between the light heavyweight grappling skill set and the heavyweight grappling skill set, but... I don't know, at the very least, at the very least, I think this is going to be more competitive than John Jones versus Cyril Garn. So please, if you made it to this end of this video, I appreciate it. Please, thank you for having an open mind and letting me talk my points. Because, yeah, I, I just needed to get, I needed to mention this. I think this is lot, this isn't as clear cut as people think it is. Like I say, I could be completely wrong here and I'm open to admitting that. But, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm always the one who has the hot takes. I predicted. You know, I predicted Sh- Sean O'Malley to knock out Aljamain Sterling. I, like, I, I've done my research here. I think this is, like, this is generally more competitive than people are making it out to be. Now, another thing that factors in, it's an illegal strike, but, you know, Stipe always struggles against eye pokers, so maybe John Jones is going to get one of his patented eye pokes here, and it's, then he's going to finish Stipe Miocic. You know, we've seen him get finished by Stephen Struff, Stephen Struff, because he eye-poked him, then TKO'd him. We've seen DC eye-poke him, then KO him. 
so you know the eye pokes have always been a stylistic challenge for Stipe Miocic so that's something that factors in the John Jones side here uh, then obviously John Jones a longer fighter even then I don't think his boxing is good but he's got a good kicking game I could see him you know getting uh, Stipe Miocic at range with kicks and eventually I think he can get Stipe down but I don't think he's just going to sub him. He might just like get on top, land some elbows, land some ground and pound. But I don't, I don't think it's going to be like that super, super fucking one-sided fight like Cyril Garn. You know, Stipe's a legend at heavyweight. He's had so many fights. He's fought wrestlers. He's shown takedown defense. He did get ragdolled a little bit by Daniel Cormier. And I know, I know John Jones took uh, Daniel Cormier down in their fight, but... You know, Daniel Cormier's got more explosive takedowns than John Jones. He's he's the guy who's getting people down a lot more than John Jones, and he's doing a lot more with his takedowns, but that is something to consider. But yeah, like I say, I'll probably go with John Jones by decision, but I don't think this is gonna be the first round destruction like it was of Cyril Garn. And I'm pretty confident to say that, but you know, it is heavyweight, fucking anything can happen. But if you made it this far, thank you. Thanks for hearing me out. I'm sure this video it's probably going to have a lot of people shitting on me, calling me a clown, <laughs> like my Sean O'Malley knocking out Aljamain Sterling prediction. But we'll see what happens, you know. Like, at the end of the day, I'm not I'm not a myth mystic. I'm not Nostradamus, you know. But I just have a feeling, and logically, I think it makes a lot of sense for this fight to be somewhat competitive. Age is going to be a big factor, though, so we'll see. Obviously, it probably won't be the same Stipe Miocic. And, you know, he, apparently he's bulked up, so we'll see if that hurts his cardio or if it makes him more powerful. We'll see if it benefits him bulking up a bit. It probably will help with the takedown defense. But we'll, we'll have to see what happens in November. So, yeah, thanks. If you made it this far, make sure you give this video a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think it will be more competitive than people are making it out to be? Or do you think it's just going to be a one-sided beating from John Jones. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the fight. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.